Hi Michael, how's Hi. it going? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Are you enjoying your stay in Paris? Yeah, I walked all the way from Brighton. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you must be a bit tired then. <laughs> yeah, I forgot my backpack. Oh. Just me and my bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the showroom, cool. guitar showroom. First time? Yeah, for the first time. I heard a lot about it. You know, oh looking, yeah? Looking forward to it. Wow, look at this. Matthias Music and Co. Old Orange. Yeah. Yeah, this is my, my son's favorite amplifier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tyson. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> nice high you five, five. Gentle high five. five. Are you good? Yeah, good. This is the shop? Yeah. Nice guitar shop. It looks amazing. It looks like a very nice and look at the garden. What is this? Yeah, look that's a, this. I've never seen anything like it. That's <laughs> a name that Marshall bought, uh, built back then for organ. Uh, for organ? Yeah, for organ, yeah. Wow. It's a uh, 71 One big GMP. speaker then, yeah? One big yeah. speaker. Yeah. One speaker of, of 15 inches. So probably John Lott used to play something like yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Th that's, that's a unique Very one, yeah. Nice. And Japanese garden. Yeah, fantastic. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I've never seen a showroom like this. Yeah. The first time. I, I lived a long time. I've been on this yeah. planet for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but look over here. Oh, look, steel guitar, yeah? Yeah, that's steel guitar from 63. Old style pickup. Yeah. D do you know T-Bone Walker? Who? T-Bone Walker, the blues player. He's, he's, like, um, no. he's like the influence on B.B. King, Chuck Berry. Oh, really? So I don't really know, more probably um, uh, Jeff Beck and Jimmy Page. They yeah, exactly. used to get influenced yeah. by that guy. Yeah, that, yeah. that was his guitar. That, that's not my generation. My generation is uh, Jimmy Page and, and yeah, Jeff Beck. Of course. <laughs> yeah. But they got influenced by that guy. Of course, yeah. 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 Have you heard about a guy called Jimi Hendrix? By any uh, Jimi Hendrix, absolutely. Okay. I have to show you something. You have, to, you have something from Jimi Hendrix? I've just been in his museum. In I London? In London. I just did uh, interviews uh, and a uh, little bit of guitar playing there in his, where he lived from when he was six, uh, from 67 till he died, I think. Yeah. yeah. Because he went to Woodstock and then he took a break. Yeah. And then, you know. That was the Jimmy Hendrix guitar. Yeah. Unbelievable. There you go. That's, uh, that's uh, one of the earliest Strat. Yeah. From what the. How did you get a hold of that one? It's uh, a collector that you know we deal with uh, with him and uh, huh? just put it on consignment here. Oh yeah, so fantastic. Yeah, it's uh, it's good to have like uh, history. Yeah? yeah, yeah. But we are very honored to see that guitar over there, Which that, that Dean Flying V. Yeah. That, can we can we take a look? Uh, yeah, have a look at that one. Because it's a legendary guitar for many people. Yeah, that's like one of my first. Dean, Dean guitars, you know, I play in every show I do, it's going to be, it's one of the, I play lots of guitars these days, okay. I used to be, I used to only play uh, two guitars uh, for many, many years, okay. one main guitar and one spare one, okay. in case a string breaks, yeah, but now sense. I have like five, six guitars on stage, good thing is, you don't really go out of tune. By the time you get out of tune, you already play the next guitar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to tune. So that one, it's like... Uh, that's the a red row. The red row, that's what I used uh, with Gary. It's a re reissue. And uh, okay. it's what I used with Gary uh, when we started uh, uh, Mike Schenker Group uh, with Simon Phillips in the, in the early 80s. Yeah. What about like the pickups? They are, they are custom I don't know anything thing about technique. Okay, I just you just by, play. Go by ear. <laughs> That's the best way to if do it. If it feels good, it sounds good, I am happy. Okay. <laughs> Time goes very fast on stage, but we play two and a half hours, but it goes so fast. You play two and a half hours? Yeah, sometimes wow. three hours, you know. It's and, but it goes so fast because another singer comes on and sings, and then I, sometimes I go like, what happened to the other guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
once we done the DVD, we got the record deals coming from everywhere, you know, because for the first time people were able to see, um, rather than through the iPhone with YouTube, which yeah. is bad, they, can uh, see they could see the real DVD with three singers at that point, and that's when um, the record uh, companies got really interested and excited. <laughs> So, my energy that I spread throughout the 10 years in, with different singers and different writing with different singers, basically I combined it all and put all the energy all into one center. Yeah. And it's like now one band, but really powerful. You know, I don't call it practicing guitar, I call it play and discover. It's a little bit like treasure hunting. Mm -hmm. You enjoy the tr the hunt. You you, you you enjoy the journey, but when you find a treasure, you, uh, you're yeah, very you happy. Think, yeah. And you put the treasure away. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I do with the guitar playing. I play, having fun. Yeah. And then I discover something really special. I put it away, piece of gold. Okay. And I line up the pieces of gold on a cassette recorder, just five seconds long, and put it. Um, put it there and when it's time for me to write an album I just listen to the first piece of gold mm -hmm, okay. can't, be, can't be bad yeah and, but then I get inspired to complete a song okay and that's what I do mm -hmm. you know and once I'm on 12 songs this time it was 13 you know I stop I go to the recording studio and say to my co-producer okay I'm ready mm -hmm. then I send out we send out all the songs to all the singers then they start grabbing what they identify with, what is suitable for them, they usually f all find the, their songs, and uh, especially Graham this time, he did um, insist on doing his own vocals and his own melodies, and he did a fantastic job, mm -hmm. you know, on his two songs, you know, mm -hmm. and Still in the Fight and uh, uh, The Beast in the Shadows, and uh, really majestic, I was really happy that he took care of himself and that he actually did that himself, and then, but everybody did really good, and uh, and accidentally we, we had the uh, 13 songs on the album. Okay. Uh, nobody mm. had, nobody could think of anything for the 13th song, you know. So I, as usual, I said, okay, I'll make an instrumental. We already have the music. Uh, I'm supposed to be only doing 12 songs, but it's already almost done. I just yeah. put the the instrumental part on top, and and so I dedicated it to to Ted McKenna, you know, who passed away on the yeah. 19th of January. Under here, yeah. this is Ted McKenna who died, yeah. but underneath there oh, is yeah. John Bonham. MSG, Michael Schenker's Temple of Rock, ex UFO, <laughs> ex Scotland. <laughs> this is a black and white this way, and then there's the other one, half black and half white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then I have got color guitar, I've got all sorts of different um, models. Um, um, you know, I've got black and red, black and white. I mm. have. Uh, a color guitar like a kaleidoscope with many 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 different pieces mm -hmm. on it uh, i used to have a um, um a uh, that and the chrome guitar I used to have one completely out of chrome you, you were know, talking about the all these treasures that you you line up and put aside earlier on um what's your inspiration when do you find these treasures is well, it, you is know, there like a particular I, moment time of day I or play, when like i play <laughs> That's it. Mm. I put that on the thing, and then once I have that, I just repeat it as many times as I want and yeah. add another link to it. Is there any particular time of day where you have more inspiration than another, no. or where do you compose, like at home or on tour? I usually do my my guitar playing first thing in the, when I have the best energy mornings. Mm. You know, when, I, when I after breakfast, I play a bit. I play around a bit, and yeah. then I put it aside, and that's it. <laughs> Thank you. 